Hi Warren, how are you doing? Yeah, good. So let's have a look at the Airbus H175M, the latest generation multi-role um, aircraft for the modern battlefield. Um, its primary function is going to be troop lift. So let's have a look in the cabin and see what we have to offer. Yeah, certainly. There's, uh, there's lots to look at. The cabin itself is the largest in class, uh, large volume. It's also got a good length for uh, out of the ordinary loads. and. Um, generally is a very versatile space so on the battlefield what you need is flexibility so what we can see here is that um, the cargo bay extends back behind those seats that can be removed and there's a readily accessed cargo bay additional storage for the, their equipment after those seats. So plenty of Bergen storage up the rear Absolutely, as well yeah. as around the cabin. And all readily accessible from the cabin. Yes. Okay perfect now clearly you've got the troops in you need to move them across the battlefield, so you need range. You talked about the, uh, the fuel tank, how far are we going? Yeah, so that's, as I said, the versatility that uh, this aircraft gives with over two tons of internal fuel. That can equate into 600 miles range or over six hours of endurance. Um, and then the versatility you could reconfigure from that long range profile into a you know, large volume, heavy mass task without any reconfiguration of the aircraft required because all of that fuel is under the floor internal to the aircraft. Well, you see above you here, we've got the main load beam. Uh, it's got uh, two hard points where you can attach to fast ropes, abseiling ropes. As we see here, a winch. It's also capable of a dual winch. This is duplicated on the other side, so you could have fast roping capability attached from either side to get the maximum speed with which to get the troops out of the aircraft. Um, obviously, you're vulnerable at that stage, so you want to maximise how quickly you can get the troops out and uh, into action. Excellent. So we could, uh, in some instances, have a completely empty cabin for internal stores. What about external stores? Okay, so it's equipped with uh, underslung load capability up to 2.7 tonnes. Um, more than capable of doing that with a reasonable range uh, to operate on the battlefield. So that's easily lifting a 105 light gun? Easily, easily and more. I mentioned we've got the large door and a large amount of cabin space. Uh, so for self-defence, it'll have a crew serve weapon in a 7.62 or 0.5. Um, the cabin itself, I mentioned it'll have ballistic protection uh, for the occupants. The seats themselves, um, they're designed specifically for the additional weight that uh, troops represent and they're also crashworthy seats as well as armoured and crashworthy seats for the, the, the front crew occupants. Um, into that, in, you know, we've got uh, crew serve weapons to defend the aircraft against incoming fire, so the fuel tanks will be self-sealing as well to prevent against uh, damage and problems in that area. So overall, a uh, very capable and effective uh, safety suite for the cabin. It's going to have uh, the ability to fly over water, but safely. So what it's, features has this got to do that? It's very well equipped in that nature. So these large steps that I said are actually, you know, uh, an actual feature to aid ingress into the cabin. They actually, on both sides, include uh, an installed life raft. Mm -hmm. uh, configured the aircraft and you can see on the panels at the front and at the rear mirrored on the other side is a flotation gear um, combined with that if I close the doors again you can see all the seats are facing the windows very large egress windows all along each side directly in front of the passengers so the egress capability of the aircraft is excellent um, so it's clearly a pilot's aircraft, or it has to be. Um, so let's have a look at the cockpit and, uh, and see what it's got to offer. Okay. So as I mentioned before, sturdy doors, everything in the aircraft is well put together. Um, it's an excellent pilot's aircraft. Uh, it's powerful, manoeuvrable, it's got excellent handling qualities and, uh, and it's fast. Uh, combined with that, it's got a low speed envelope that allows 50 knots all around for the full 360 degrees, which gives the freedom on operations to position the aircraft in the hover in any orientation and any wind, which is fantastic flexibility. The, on the high points of the 175 is the, the cockpit and the helionic system. So the, the principle behind Airbus's uh, desire to have helionics across its fleet is that similarity. And what they are looking for is that you've got the same symbology in front of you as you go from aircraft to aircraft. So they use exactly the same helionic symbology at uh, Shawbury on the Juno and Jupiter aircraft. So any pilots moving across onto the 175, they'll be instantly familiar with everything that it displays and also the AFCS functions in the same manner. So the, the, the methodology of using the AFCS will be the same. So the savings in terms of the training uh, will be large, but more than that, the, the output level will be higher because you've got someone who's already ingrained how to use it before they start. Let's talk about uh, power and engines. Okay, well it's powered by two PT6 engines, which is a, you know, a well-established and very reliable engine with uh, low maintenance and through life costs. Um, the aircraft is very powerful, uh, it's able up to 7.8 uh, tonnes as mag takeoff off weight. But it's worth thinking more about um, the payload capability of the aircraft in the battlefield because that's what the, uh, you're interested in in the battlefield is what can you move around. 
Um, because the aircraft has a very efficient design, um, it can lift the same payload as higher max takeoff weight aircraft um, of over three tons. And the benefits of having a lighter aircraft for the same payload are multiple. So you um, have lower downwash for people that are working on the ground or if you're doing unslung loads. Um, you burn less fuel, um, so obviously just you're carrying less of the aircraft around to carry your payload around. And then expanded wise across a fleet that's going to have a large environmental impact. Yeah, I like the downwash, particularly operating in the Arctic, sand and urban Absolutely. environments. So Warren, uh, that presents a really compelling case uh, for the new medium helicopter for the UK Armed Forces, a real pilot's aircraft that will give us a battle winning uh, advantage in the future. Thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.